on here earlier today via the Athletic, via Stadium. Remember Clay Thompson? Remember that name? Mm-hmm. What's going on with him? The Magic can open up in excess of $60 million mm. in cap space mm. this offseason. So they're going to be players, when you think about free agency and other moves that can be made, you look at scoring. Uh, in Game 7, obviously struggled a little bit to score the ball, especially in the second half of the game when the, the Cavs and Donovan Mitchell kept coming for them. So you look at the point guard position, but also uh, shooting and scoring on the wing. And one name to keep an eye on, Clay Thompson. I'm told there is mutual interest between the Magic and Clay Thompson. Oh. Thompson, along with several other vets around the league, are looking at the Magic as a situation where if you plug in a guy like Clay Thompson, you plug in another veteran player, whether it be at the point guard position, the shooting guard position, this team can make a real jump around Paolo Bancaro and Franz Wagner. Both guys, uh, Paolo Bancaro, already a star, already a guy that's been a part of Team USA. Franz Wagner has the ability to potentially be an all-star as well. But if you plug in some more sh- shooting and scoring, I think that's what can take this Orlando team to another level. Clay Thompson, wow. Orlando. You've been on that. You've been on that for quite some time now. Yeah. I want to say at the start of the regular season. Start of the regular season. You've been saying keep and, your eye out for that. And keep your eye out eye out on Orlando as well. Mm-hmm. Because this is a team that once they drive to Paolo Bancaro, and you see the experience they just received from going into the playoffs and played in the game seven. And Paolo's cooking in the first half. But you need shooting. You need playmakers. Malik Buck, Clay Thompson. Why would Orlando be all in on Espinosa? Wow. I mean, it checks all the boxes. If you're Clay Thompson, though, too, you're going to a market. Clay Thompson, Orlando. You're going to a market. Oh, they got they got water there, so you can bring his boat out there if you want. Big wants. water. Big water. <laughs> a lot of water. Big water. When you try to do the Donnie impression, it really throws me off. It sounds like you're Jeffrey, the butler from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's exactly what it sounds like to me. That does not sound like Trump at all. I mean, if I'm Orlando, option number one for me would be Malik Buck, being a playmaking guard who could hit the three. Markel Fultz. Yes. I will move off from that. Yes. Cole Anthony. Markel Fultz can't stay healthy. Cole Anthony is a small guard. He's a tradable asset with his contract. He signed a very team friendly deal. I'll pull up the numbers in just a second with Cole Anthony. So, Malik Buck. They got the money to get Malik Buck. And then when it comes to Clay Thompson, a veteran presence who's won championships, a fresh start for him, could be the third or fourth option. I think that's a very friendly market, too. Like very if, he, if he doesn't get off to like the hottest of starts, like when people are trying to like put him to the Lakers or the Sixers, and maybe we can ask uh, Howard Eskin about that in about 10 minutes, who covers all things Philadelphia sports. Those fan bases give me a little bit of a pause. They're in very desperate win-now scenarios, and they are looking to crush anyone and everyone. Uh, Clay Thompson doesn't mean a damn thing. His dad played there, and he grew up a Laker fan, but that doesn't mean anything. If you start missing, they will go after you. As a Laker or as a Sixer, I think the the Orlando market and that team, yep. for what they need, a veteran presence, a leader on the bench, or in the starting lineup, depends if you need him there, he'd be perfect for them. Gives you some championship acumen, too, in that locker room. I like that. At this point, <clears throat> Warrior fans, we could pick this up, 888-957-9570. At this point, I can't believe I'm about to say this. Oh, my goodness. But I would be surprised at this point if Clay Thompson was a member to go to say Warriors next season. Really? I would be surprised. How much money is it going to take? What if the Warriors offer 20, like the first... The reported deal with two years, $48 million, 24 per. What if Orlando blows out away for $30 million a year? What if they go $28 million a year? You think what if they give up three years or four years instead of the two that the Warriors offered? Like, I feel like, I feel like, I, I, I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'd be shocked if Clay was back in the Warriors uniform next season. Now, Cole Anthony, real quick. Making thirteen million per the next two years, plus there's a club option in 2026-27. Very tradable contract if you're the Orlando Magic for a signing trade. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is crazy though, to just think that we could have seen the last time Clay Thompson was in a Golden State Warrior uniform and it ended like that. Which sucks. In that playing game against the Kings, not making a shot, and that was the lasting image. 
at least for the recent. Obviously, you're going to think about him in all the great times, Game 6 clay, all yep. the championships. He's going to be a statue guy, deserves to be a statue guy. But could his time in Golden State be coming to an end and he's going to be an Orlando Magic? He's like That's like one of those things where you think of Michael Jordan right. as a wizard, right? You think about all these players that ended up going somewhere else. Or was uh, Patrick Ewing? What was he? Yeah, he was with the uh, was Orlando with the Magic. Mag- and the Magic, Seattle right? Sonics. Right. But I don't Shaq think Clay's the there. Clay's not there yet. Clay's not there. He's not there. No, he's, he's not, not there. Washed. He, no, he's not washed. But when you think of a guy with one team, like I never, like I always still think of Dwight Howard as an Orlando Magic. I don't think of him as a right. Houston Rocket, like stuff like that. So like, it's just going to be weird seeing him. He'll still be in blue, but he'll have that uh, black trim and uh, pinstripes instead. Potentially in Orlando. God, that's crazy. You said that. It is kind of. I'm just. I the don't more know, you man. think about it, the, he's. You think he's what, gone. What are the Warriors going to do here in the offseason? How do you replace very, him? Yeah, I don't know. You, can't. you need shooting. You need shooting. It's hard to replace shooting in this league. All right, let's get to the injury report. Then Howard Eskin here on the morning Ross on eighty five seventy game.